So I wanted to kind of just explain the reason why I'm here in Taiwan. I mean, part of it is yes, uh, visit family and just why not? Because <laughs> I'm not doing anything at home either way. But the biggest reason I came was because of health reasons. I basically had this has the, had this swollen lymph node. I basically found that in the beginning of the year. I didn't know what it was, so I just figured, you know what, it's probably nothing. I could just leave it alone. But eventually, it kind of started to swell. I told my mom, and she was like, okay, let's just go family doctor to determine what's causing it to swell. I got like ultrasound, x-ray, I got some blood tests done, and my family doctor said that they didn't show any reason as to why it would swell. My doctor connected me with this other doctor who specialized in neck and throat issues. I don't know, okay, it's called otorinolaryngology. <laughs> oh my god, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna put the word up. Otorinolaryngology. So I went in for a consultation and then he suggested that I could either do a needle biopsy or an open incision biopsy. The biopsy is basically an extraction of cells or tissues from inside your body to, de to determine um, what's wrong. Uh, I decided to get an open incision biopsy. I arranged an appointment for the end of March and when I was supposed to go that week, I got a call from the hospital that I was supposed to go to and basically they said that my biopsy would be postponed till May because of the coronavirus like during that time uh, it got a lot worse so it had to be moved back so basically um, I guess in the middle of April my lymph node started to swell even bigger than before like it was so big like oh my god I, it would swell like up to like here okay you can't tell but it, it was so swollen that I when I moved my arm it would hurt and it kind of like I think it kind of pushed down on some of the nerves or stuff underneath and it would just be very uncomfortable. So I called my doctor to ask if I could get an earlier date for the biopsy. You know, it was showing signs that it was getting worse and he said that he would be able to get me a time like the week after I called. I went in, I got the open biopsy. Also, I was awake during the biopsy. They froze this area, but I could still feel it. Let me tell you, it was not fun. It was not fun. <laughs> after the surgery, after they got the results, the doctor contacted me saying that because the lymph node is like in a pretty bad place, I guess there's a muscle on top that shifts whenever I either swallowed or moved or, or talked, sorry, uh, during the surgery. So he said it was a lot harder to extract enough samples of the lymph node because not only was there a muscle uh, moving on top, but also because the area around the lymph node, it was inflamed. Basically, he was just getting like inflamed bits, I guess. I don't really know. They determined it was benign, which means it's not harmful, which is good, but they didn't determine exactly why it had swollen to begin with. So he basically recommended that I do another biopsy. And he also said with cases like mine where I've already done an open incision biopsy, the lymph node usually should heal on its own, but it did not. It had already been a month. My lymph node had swollen again, like two weeks after I had the open incision. So I figured, you know, whatever is had caused it to swell in the first place, still there, basically. So, you know what, like the hospital was busy, you know, coronavirus was getting worse in Canada and I knew they wouldn't prioritize me. Even if I could get an appointment, I didn't know what it would be. Like most likely not anytime soon, which is why I came to Taiwan. Not only is it safer in Taiwan during this time, but also the doctors are a lot better than in Canada, according to my dad. I also wouldn't have to wait as long as if I stayed in Canada. 
basically why I'm here. That was a really long explanation. <laughs> Sorry if it got boring. But I just figured like, you know, give you guys the whole story. So like in my later vlogs, you guys wouldn't be confused as to why I'm at the hospital. The second reason I'm here is for the dentist. My dad's cousin is a dentist, so that means I can get um, my teeth checked and cleaned for a lot cheaper than I would in uh, Canada. If anyone has any questions um, about my whole experience, uh, please leave it in the comments below and I will respond. In the meantime, stay safe, uh, please wear a mask, don't be a Karen, and go crazy. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine. Baby girl be mine.